All right, as you watch this, keep in mind that the spoiler did work. It stabilized the rear end just like I was expecting it to, but I absolutely hated the way it looked, so it has since been removed. First thing you're going to want to do before before you put the spoiler up there is to put some weather stripping on it to protect it. In this case, I'm going to cut a handful of two-inch strip. And this is also going to, once compacted down, it'll help protect the, the holes against uh, rain falling into it or water. Right now the main concern is to keep it from scratching paint while I'm moving it around to figure out exactly where it needs to sit front to back. All right, I went ahead and put a piece of tape here on both sides, that way it minimizes uh, how much measuring, how much room I have to measure side to side. I've also got these two pieces in. Um, I need to come a quarter inch down and that'll put the feet center to center here. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Okay, now I know when I place that foot up in the corner here, it'll sit in the corner, that both feet will sit front and back. All right, now that I got all the lines marked, it's a matter of getting it lined up. Perfection. No easy part. Hold the spoiler in place and draw a box around it. going to allow you to put the feet back here in a little bit. What you need to do is take the feet off, line them back up. washers I'm going to use to help seal everything are one inch. So I have a one and a quarter inch hole saw. The last thing you want to do is take a drum over your car. Don't forget safety. Last thing you want is metal in your eye. Alright now what you need to do is find a drill bit just perfectly the right size or maybe just a tidbit larger. Now what I'm going to do here before I uh, do all the other stuff is you go ahead and slap on a piece of weather stripping to the back of all these. There's a handful of things you can do with these. Um, I have on order one and a half inch grommets. They're just gonna pop up in there so that I don't have to worry about uh, surfacing them and painting them. Um, if you have a steel deck lid, um, I would go ahead and at least prime them so you don't have to worry about rust. Just put any kind of rust blocker on it, uh, rust oleum or just any kind of primer. successfully installed GT wing.
All right, there it is. Not too shabby, except for the car's extremely dirty. Looks pretty decent. You can see in the rear view mirror, sits just high enough, I get to focus on it, just high enough that I don't have to worry about it getting in my view. Well folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh -oh.